Hi everyone, my name is Claude Impas. I'm the Gallery Director of Florentino's Art Gallery. And hi, I'm Jay Hore, and I'm the Curator of Exhibitions here at Florentino's. Today, we're going to tour you in our inaugural show, Sakanunay Stories of Life in Transition. Behind us, we have 21 artists who have made a contribution to the growth of Cebuano art scene and of course, most importantly, to the art profession of June Impas, the founder of Florentinos. Sakanunay, being the inaugural show of Florentinos, aims to capture the dynamics and qualities of human relationships forged through time. Sakanunay would always mean, as always. This exhibition is a testament to Cebuano artists' close-knit community, ever supportive, ever caring for one another. Now we will move around the gallery to bring you closer to each art piece and for you to take a glimpse of the artist's individual style and worldviews. To start off with a tour, behind me we have the two female artists of the show. The emerging artist Maggie with her artwork entitled Sisyphus and the leading Cebuana artist Sonia Erestorza with Tomorrow is Another Day. In Maggie's work, the classical rendition of the male body is distorted and fragmented, alluding to the artist's intention to reinvent classical tradition and bring it in conversation with contemporary art. Sonia, on the other hand, exhibits masterful handling of light and colors which aptly captures the restful vibes of the sea and the calming sight of the beach. We feature in this part of the exhibition the masterpiece of Lucino Sagaino, The Color Odyssey, and Orly Epon's The Neighborhood. Sagaino's work marries technical experimentation and chromatic combinations in his work that attempts to capture the boundless and fluid nature of human consciousness. Sagaino's watery patches resonate within the composition of Orly Epon. His pond reflects the sky and creates a calming feeling to his heavily textured landscape. And in this section, we have works of the religious painter Tony Vidal, showcasing his works of Saint Joseph, Santo Nino, and Immaculate Conception. We also have the sculpture series of Richie Quijano entitled Cross. Tony Vidal's gentle faces of the Santo Nino and the saints show people's reliance on an ever-loving God. His graceful rendition is contrasted by the rawness of the cross assembled by Quijano from found objects and metal scraps as he tried to reflect on the intersection of everyday life and spirituality. And here we have the painting of Cubism painter Celso Pipito entitled Beyond COVID and also Richie Quijano's Come Here Colonizers. Pipito's work depicts in somber colors the hope of a better life after COVID. In this corner of the gallery, you can see the seven-piece series of Monsignor Agustin Ancajas reflecting on the life and martyrdom of St. Pedro Calungsod. Monsignor Ancajas' clay sculpture, molded with keen details, pays tribute to a life of sacrifice and sanctity. The diorama captures the littleness of man in the eyes of his divine maker. And what is better way to capture in picture the life of Kalungsod is found in Bong Francisco's painting, Tugway. Bong Francisco's landscape painting with a young man gazing at the waters can be very well illustrate the life of Pedro Kalungsod. Now for this section, I am in love with the pieces here as they are very calming and it showcases the masterpieces of Kim So Yap entitled The Calm Before the Storm, Orly Ipon's Solitude and Richie Quijano's feels like I'm French kissing the daughter of an Italian cardinal. In this particular section, the elements of water and sky are bound by strong charges of emotions. In Kim Soy's work, the sea crashes forcefully with the rocks along the shoreline. The fragmented textures of early Epon's dark, heavy clouds reinforce the visual tempest in the hyper-expressivist brushworks and colors of Richie Quijano. 
What you can see now is the expressivist work of Maestro Fred Galan entitled The Music Maker. Galan's masterful handling of the brush creates patches of textures that abstract classical standards and capture the subtle expressions in the face of the woman. And we are moving to the heart of the exhibition, the work of the founder of the gallery, June Impas, in this masterpiece entitled The Profess. Galan's work contrasts with June Impas' pristine brush strokes that breathe life to his subjects. The reclining woman with a mask comments on the excessive appeal for external beauty and vanity. And now in this corner, you can see the conversation between two paintings. One is Clint Normandia's Blowing in the Wind and Guido Lubanga's Peace Begins with a Smile. Clint Normandia standing nude, surrounded by hues of greens and blues, creates a refreshing scene that attempts to interrogate notions of woman's autonomy and self-determination. Guido's pen and ink rendition of Mother Teresa contrasts with Normandia's figures. It celebrates the beauty of old age and the wisdom and spiritual maturity that comes with it. We are likewise happy to mount in the exhibition the works of Mar Vidal entitled The Guitar Man and Music Notes as well as the works of Master Distortionist Adeste de Gilmo in this painting, The Ukulele Man, and this piece, The Garden Sonata. The three works bring together music and visual arts. Marvidal's charcoal drawing shows the artist's masterful handling of classical conventions to capture an introspective, well-proportioned male nude. The realist drawing is just a post with a mannerist distortion found in the Gilmos figures as a subject extend his body to belt up to sing. The two paintings' unique styles come together in the Gilmos realist portrayal of women musicians nestled in a small garden perfused with the golden light of the late afternoon sun. And here we have the works of architect Marlo Villagonzalo entitled Pili Mo and Professor Dennis Shaw Montera entitled Accept What Is, Forget What Was. Villa Gonzalo's work turns the subjects of everyday life as he pays close attention to his neighborhood barbecue stall, depicting the burning light of the coals and the smoky ambience of the scene. Sio Montera's abstract masterpiece resonates with Villa Gonzalo's smoky textures and neutral hues. Montero's earth tone colors connect with the colors of everyday life, suggesting the crucial need for introspection and deep thought in the midst of routinary and repeated templates of daily life. And in this section, we have our landscape paintings, Sulop by Benji Goyha, Oasis of Serenity by Gabby Abeliana, and Green Pasture also by Gabby Abeliana. Abiliana's excellent handling of light is evident in the series of landscape paintings of his hometown in Karkar. The luminosity allows ordinary fields and corners of the countryside into magical and inspirational spaces. Goya's soft colored composition brings us closer to nature inside the canopy of forest trees which at once exude peaceful rest and contentment. Now we bring to you this three-piece sculptural series of Father Edgardo Alaurin. It's his bought sculptures. And with the three sculptures is this particular painting by UP professor Carl Rocky entitled Green Moon Dreaming. Alaurin's sculptures reflect on the significant role of technology and its impact on popular culture. Its material composition speaks of how social life can be fabricated and assembled in an unconventional process. Carl Rocky, on the other hand, takes inspiration from mythological and folkloric wisdom to explore the vast field of man's subconscious 
dreams, and psyche as shown in his dreamy color fields of abstraction. And finally, we are ending this curatorial tour with these two masterpieces. First, by Orly Ipon, Blind Leading the Blind. And of course, with this wonderful graphite work by Maestro Kim Suyap in this work entitled, A Girl Awaits. The section captures best the spirit of Cebuano realism. Orly Ipon's mastery of human anatomy and classical lighting creates an emotionally laden formation of bodies soaked in muddy waters. Meanwhile, Kim Soyap's graphite drawing of the female nude shows technical control and discipline as it exudes the restful, introspective, and sensual in art. Hope you had a wonderful time with us as we moved around the exhibition. Please do visit us here at Florentinos to enjoy in person these wonderful art pieces made by foremost Filipino painters. Thank you.